Protective and safety footwear must be worn to protect your feet from injuries while you operate in the workplace. This is obvious, we all know this. Now before I continue, I want to make clear that injuries, any injuries can occur in any occupation regardless of whether you're sitting or standing, safety shoes or high heels. I'm not picking on any profession, I'm just talking about safety shoes, just so you know. Now, without a doubt, wearing safety shoes or safety footwear with steel caps, composite uh, or fiberglass still adds weight to the footwear and as a result is much more stiffer than the walking or running shoe. Therefore, your ankle has to use more torque or more energy to recruit more surrounding muscles to produce propulsion when you walk. Now, believe it or not, in my eyes, all my clients know this, I treat you as an athlete. You are the best in your life. Only you can perform your occupational tasks to your level. Therefore, you must be treated as an athlete and your rehab is a must. Now, understand that athletes are proactive in their rehab to ensure that they are always performing at peak performance. Same goes for you. Now, heaven forbid if you get injured, guess what, your lifestyle, job, your income is at risk. So please take your health, especially your feet and leg health seriously. In this really, really awesome, very simple video, I'm gonna show you three simple yet um, very effective DIY rehab steps to help you recover from a long day at work. So here we go, three steps. The first one is cold therapy. Now firstly, before I continue, I have to say that if you suffer from Reynolds disease or if you can't tolerate cold temperatures on your skin, then please skip this step. Now, back to the plan. I want you to set up a bucket of cold water with a few ice box or ice cubes. And I want you to put both feet and ankles into the bucket. And this is to help reduce the swelling and inflammation your feet have built up over the day that you worked. Soak for about five or 10 minutes if you can endure it at the full time. Step two, I want you to relax your muscles. During your shower, I want you to focus the warm shower water stream to tight muscles such as the calves, hamstring, glutes, and lower back for at least 40 to 60 seconds. Now, after you finish showering and safely out of the bathroom, I want you to perform a calf stretch against the wall like this. And I want you to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. And I want you to do that several times during during the, the, the rest time. Now I've, I've done a, a little short Vine video with exercises and stretches for the foot, which I post in this Facebook post and in my article on the website. Add to the stretch, you can also uh, use a moisturizer using the base of your palm, massage your calves steadily to ease muscle tension. Or you can ask your loved ones to do this for you. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Keep in mind. Now, number three, elevate your feet. I want you to position a thick pillow underneath your legs and feet while you sit and relax or when you're sleeping to help reduce inflammation to really relax your muscles. Very simple, easy, easy task to do. These are DIY rehab exercises that you can do yourself. Remember, do it yourself. Now, if you find it too difficult or too troublesome or you want something on a higher level rehab scale, then I myself provide muscle therapy which is focused on um, three things, stretching, loosening and strengthening. You know, having a rehab coach or a health practitioner like myself is a good option to have to ensure excellent and routine rehab. Ultimately, it is up to you to commit to being proactive with your health. I sincerely hope you found this really cool video to be insightful and easy to follow. Uh, uh, please send through any comments or questions that you may have via Facebook page or email which you can find on our website. I'll see you next time on the next video. Please walk smarter, not harder.